Hello my loves, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl, Kinesthetic with the Kinesthetics, and I'm here with you guys today with a new video. So in today's video, I wanted to sit here and give you guys my honest thoughts, opinions, and review of Sony ZV-1 camera. I purchased this camera back in January of 2023, so I have been using it, playing around with it, and experiencing it for the past seven months. So I felt like now was an appropriate time for me to sit here and share my honest thoughts, opinions, and review on this camera. So if you guys are interested in hearing all about my honest review and experience with this camera, as well as ways that I use this camera, accessories that I use with this camera, and more, then go ahead and keep on watching. Before we get started with today's video, do not forget to subscribe to your girl's YouTube channel. Hit that red subscribe button down below. We are growing and glowing and I would hate for you guys to miss it. So make sure you guys go ahead and join the family. Turn on your bell notifications so you never miss any of my uploads. Give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to drop a comment down below after you watch this whole entire video, period. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So before we get started with today's video, I did want to address today's look because I know y'all are going to have questions. I know you guys are going to have preguntas. So my hair, I did like this messy updo situation. I showed you guys exactly how I achieved this hairstyle in my last weekly vlog. So make sure you guys go back and check that video out for details on the hair. My makeup, I showed you guys this exact makeup routine in my makeup therapy video, which I uploaded on Friday. The only thing is that I just switched the lippy. So this lippy is Praline, the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Praline. That's what's on my lips. Earrings are coming from Urban Outfitters. I'll see if they are still available and link them down below. But girl, I paid $2.50 for these earrings. So holla at your girl, period. <laughs> and this bodysuit is from Forever 21. I did purchase it some years back, so I won't have a link for it. And then my glow on my body. This is that Osea, yeah, Osea. This is the Osea body oil mixed with some of the Kapari whipped body butter. That combination. A little bit of madness and a little bit of badness combination goes crazy. So make sure you guys check those items out. I'll have them linked down below as well. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into what you guys are here for. The tea on the camera. So a quick little disclaimer before we do get into this video. If you are clicking on this video with the hopes of getting a super techie, super like specky, super down to the griddle, griddle, griddle review of this camera, this is not that. So I'm gonna just do you a favor and tell you to click out from now. This video, I want it to be super comprehensive for my girls and my boys who aren't really into like, you know, the tech of things, the specs of things. I'm giving you guys a high level overall review of this camera and my experience with it. So I did want to give you guys that disclaimer before we went ahead and got into it. But now let's get the show going. So here's my baby. This is the Sony ZV-1. As I mentioned, I purchased this back in January of 2023. And believe it or not, this was an impulse purchase. And I know, I know, I know. Y'all probably like, girl, that camera is a cute little coin. So what you mean it was an impulse purchase? Like, what you mean? What you saying? And it was. So I randomly went into Best Buy one day, the Best Buy in Pasadena here in Houston, Texas. I don't remember what I was even looking for, what business I had that brought me into Best Buy, what gust of wind flew me in that door. Oh, actually, I went there to get a MacBook charger because I had came from New York and I realized that I left my MacBook charger in New York and had to pay 85 cash for a new charger for my laptop. So I went into Best Buy to get that. And I was just browsing around, browsing around, looking. You know, you just gotta do a one-two whenever you go in any store. Not a three-four, but maybe just a one-two. And I saw that they had two cameras in store. Yes, two, only two cameras in a Best Buy. Sounds crazy, but they said the people don't be thiefing, so they only left two cameras in the store. And one of them was my baby. She was an open box camera. And the original price of this camera at the time was like seven or $800. And I think I paid like five or six hundred dollars for this camera. So I basically got it for like two hundred dollars off. And I'm like, girl, be for real, for real. You are probably never gonna see this deal again. So just go ahead and get it. 
Like, go ahead and do your big one real quick. You won't regret it. And so said, so done. Okay, so I purchased this camera as an open box item. The discrepancies that were noted on the box was that it had minor scratches, which I did see at the time that I purchased it. But I was like, knowing me, I'm gonna get more scratches on the camera. So what does it even matter? Like, why does it even matter? So I was fine with getting it. It came with all of the accessories. So it came with this microphone. It came with the cord to charge it. And it also came with the standard battery, the Sony NPBX1 battery. Everything was in a box, girl. I said, bring me to the register, swipe the card, get in the car, go home, and you eating home for the next three weeks. And that is exactly what I did. So it was an impulse purchase, but I have been loving it since I have purchased it. And I'm gonna tell you guys exactly why, okay? So the primary purpose of me purchasing this camera was for vlogging. In case you guys don't know, if you guys are new to my YouTube channel, I upload vlogs every Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that's why I told y'all, make sure your bell notifications are on so you don't miss any of my uploads, okay? I like to vlog, I like to share what's going on in my life. The good, the bad, the smiles, the cries, the ups, the downs, whatever it is, I feel like it's super relatable content and you guys seem to really be enjoying it so I absolutely love that for both of us. And I just love vlogging. Like I share majority of what goes on in my life. Don't get me wrong, I don't share everything, okay? I don't need y'all all in my business. But I'm a nosy girl and when I watch people's videos, I'm like, put me on. Like what you doing, what you using, what's going on, where you at, what it look like, do, 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 do. So those are the same questions that I try to answer when I'm vlogging. So yeah, I bought this camera to vlog, but since I have purchased this camera, I also use it to create short form content. So the reels you guys see on my Instagram, the shorts you guys see on here on my YouTube channel, my TikToks, majority of them are recorded on this bad boy right here. And I always get questions like, girl, the quality, what you using, what you doing, what you do, what do, 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 do. And my short form content for the most part is recorded on my Sony ZV-1 camera. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how a little bit later. But yeah, I use this camera for vlogging and creating short form content whenever I have a stationary setup, AKA when I'm in my house. So I wanted to get into the pros and the cons of this camera so that y'all know the tea if you guys are considering getting this camera. So we'll start with the cons. The first con that I want to speak about is a con that I came across a lot when I was doing research on this camera. However, it's not a con that I have necessarily experienced with my time with this camera. And let me tell you guys why. So when I was doing research, a lot of people said, girl, the battery life on this camera is trash. It's basura. Don't even worry about it. Pack 10 extra batteries in your bag whenever you're going outside. And for me, that hasn't been the case, okay? So as I mentioned, this camera did come with a Sony brand battery. This battery is the Sony NPBX1 battery. And I'm the type of girl where I don't play with my technologies, okay? I spend a cute little coin on my cameras, on my this, on my that. So when it comes to getting accessories or when it comes to replacing things, I'd rather just pay the good money to get it done the right way or the good money to get the right thing versus getting something off-brand and then getting off-brand results. Because when you get off-brand, you're going to get off-brand, okay? Y'all see what I'm saying? So I saw that a lot of people purchase like off-brand batteries as their spear batteries for this camera. And that was like, no, 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 honey. Even my Canon 80D, which I'm recording on right now, when I had to get a spear battery for it, I got the Canon brand battery. I'd rather pay the price to take preventative action versus corrective action later on. So I went on Amazon and I purchased two more of these same batteries they ran me about 30 40 dollars a pop depending on if the vendor is having a sale or not and i feel like the battery life of this camera is super standard prior to using my sony zv1 for vlogging i did use a canon m50 and the battery life on the camera canon m50 is amazing you guys see how much i vlog my vlogs be an hour plus so imagine how much raw footage i have and my Canon M50, I would have to change my battery probably like once every other day if anything. But with the Sony ZV-1, I do have to change my battery at least once a day. And for most times, it's only once a day. Unless I'm on vacation and I'm getting a ton of content, a ton of B-roll. Other than that, I change my battery once a day. 
and y'all see how much I be vlogging. So if you guys are looking to get spare batteries and if you guys are concerned about the battery life on the Sony ZV-1, I'm telling you guys, get the Sony brand batteries because it is a game changer. Another con I would say with this camera, it's not really, it's a con for me. It was a kind of an experience that basically if you drop this camera, you're going to lose whatever you have on your memory card for the most part, okay? There was a time probably like two to three months ago where I was crying on camera to y'all like, oh my God, I lost everything I had on my memory card. Like two to three days of vlogging footage because I was in the shower trying to give you guys, you know, content, content, content. And my camera fell out of my shower on the head, like, like this, right here like this and i lost everything that was on my memory card a message came up saying the memory card had to be like reformatted i don't know but maybe there was a way to get around that situation but in my case i lost everything that was on my memory card and i was distraught okay i was in distress i was so sad and ever since then i have been super intentional about removing footage on my vlogging memory card at least once a day sometimes i even do it two to three times a day okay i do not have the time to be putting in this hard work to be losing my footage like what no so if you do have this camera or plan on getting it just be careful with it treat her like a baby okay it wasn't really my fault but it was my fault at the same time but treat her like a baby treat her like a princess and don't drop her so yeah, those are the only two cons I have about this camera. Now let's go ahead and get into the pros because babes, when I tell y'all I mess with this camera, I mess with this camera real bad, okay? First of all, the quality of the content. Amazing. This camera shoots in 4K, okay? So when y'all are watching my videos, y'all probably feel like y'all are in my house with me. When y'all are watching my videos, y'all probably feel like y'all are in my car with me. When y'all are watching my videos, y'all probably feel like y'all are in a store shopping with me. Like the quality of the visuals on this camera is spectacular, like 4K for true. Also another pro of this camera is that it has a built-in microphone system. So with my previous Sony camera I had, I had a Sony A100 or 1000, I forgot the name of the model of the camera, but I had that when I first, first started my YouTube channel back in 2018. And the audio on that camera was so trash. I don't know what the specifics of that camera was, but th this is not that, okay? This has a built-in microphone system. So even when I take the microphone that it comes with off, this, um. I think this is called like a windshield, but when I take this off, the audio quality is still fire, okay? This is mainly necessary when I'm in like a windy setting, when I'm vlogging outside and you know the terrains are trying to come for me and I'm trying to show y'all what's going on and I need y'all to hear me. That's when this comes into play. But the audio on this camera, y'all can hear everything, okay? Y'all can hear everything I'm telling y'all and I absolutely love that for both of us. And the last pro I want to tell you guys about this camera is I love the size and weight of this camera. My Canon M50, it was low-key a brick, okay? It was lowest of keys, a brick. Like, at first it feels light, but then when you're vlogging, like holding your arm up for an extended period of time, baby, it's giving arm day. And I wasn't trying to deal with that. So this camera is super small and lightweight compared to my Canon M50. You guys know that I'm a small purse type of girl and this camera fits a majority of my bags, which I absolutely love. It's just so like, I love it, I love it. So those are my pros and cons of this camera. I also wanted to mention that this camera does have a viewfinder which flips out to the side. So, you know, you can see yourself as you're recording, which is definitely a plus if the primary purpose of this camera for you is vlogging. Now I wanna get more into how I exactly use the camera. So as I mentioned, I mainly vlog on this camera, but I also use it to create short form content. My reels and my YouTube shorts and my TikToks, y'all are like, girl, what camera do you use? What's your setup look like? And I'm here to give y'all all the tea on that, okay? So first of all, I will go ahead and insert a clip here so you guys can visualize what I'm saying because I'm not able to show you guys in real time. 
but I use my Sony ZV-1 camera on this Ulanzi or Ulanzi tripod, which I purchased from Amazon. I love, love, love this tripod because it goes up to, I believe, 60 inches and it does have a rotating ball head so that I can go ahead and shoot things in landscape as well as portrait on this tripod, which I absolutely love. It does extend super easily. It doesn't have like knobs or anything to adjust. You just pull it up, pull it down, and you can go ahead and spread the legs wide or you can go ahead and make the legs be closer together, which also gives you more height on this tripod. But this combination right here, the camera and the tripod, it goes crazy. And when I'm recording my short form content, I also use a LED light. This LED light is from the brand GVM. I purchased this as a set of two from B&H Photo. And I literally, like adding the light to my content has elevated it 10 times up the quality scale, okay? so. I'm telling you guys, whether you're using your iPhone, whether you're using a camera to record content, lighting is super important. I cannot emphasize that enough. So I will go ahead and I'll link everything I mentioned in today's video down below, by the way. But this light right here is amazing. I love this LED light because you can make it more bright light or you can make it more of a warm light. You can increase, decrease the intensity to get the exact lighting that you're looking for. This LED light also came with films. So we had like an orange color cover a blue cover whatever the case is so you can change up the moods of the light depending on your desire but i just go ahead and i use girl the regular okay the regular i don't be doing too much i really don't be doing too much like the less the better okay <laughs> So that is what I use or my setup for short form content for everyone who has been wondering, everyone who has been asking. I just use my Sony ZV-1, my Ulanzi tripod, and one LED light. If I'm feeling spicy or depending on what I'm recording, I'll probably pull out two. But for the most part, babes, I just use one and I just make sure it is elevated above the height of my camera on the tripod. So... That brings us into the accessories that I have been using with my Sony ZV-1. So let's go ahead and get into it. So first of all, babes, I told you guys that I purchased this camera as an open box item. It was just the individual camera. It wasn't like a set. It wasn't a kit. It was just a camera. But if you do purchase this camera and like what I believe they call like the creator kit, it does come with this tripod. So this tripod right here is Sony's tripod, which is made to connect with the Sony ZV-1 camera via Bluetooth. And if you have this camera and you plan on using it for vlogging, I'm telling you guys, you need this tripod right here. So I purchased it separately. I think I paid like $128 for this tripod on Amazon. And y'all probably like, girl, that's a lot of money for a tripod. But let me tell y'all, okay? This tripod makes vlogging with the camera so much easier. And let me tell you guys why. As I mentioned, it does connect via Bluetooth. So you don't have to like plug it up or anything like that. You just have to connect it via Bluetooth. I did find a video, which I'll link down below, which helps with connecting the Bluetooth and also changing the battery out on this tripod so I will have that linked in the description box but I love this tripod because it has controls here for the camera so you don't always have to like reach and grab and do and do like you could just do everything boo -boo -boo on here and you good you set okay so say you want to start or stop recording they have a button for that say you want to zoom in zoom out zoom 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 they have a button for that say you want to take a photo versus recording a video girl they have a button for that too and then i don't know what this c1 button does if you guys know comment down below and then it has this lock and unlock feature here to like power the tripod on or off i do want to say that the battery or maybe it's the batteries i have girl they energize the battery so i think it's a good brand but the batteries on this tripod dies pretty quickly if you forget to turn it off so make sure when that little light is blinking to tell you like hey i'm on you go ahead and you turn it off so I absolutely love this tripod. I think it's worth each and every penny that I paid to pair with my Sony ZV-1, especially since I'm using this camera for vlogging. It makes my job so much easier. Next up, as I mentioned, this camera did come with a battery, a Sony brand battery. And I told you guys that when I was ready to buy spare batteries, girl, I got right on Amazon and I ordered the real deal. I ordered the Sony brand npbx one first of all this little case that it came in so cute and easy to just throw in my bag without messing the batteries up okay because one thing about me is i'm gonna throw a million things in my bag and things is gonna get jacked up but this little case secures 
the battery. So I did order two of these on Amazon and they were like 30 to $40 per piece per battery. Sometimes the Sony vendor does have a sale. So you'll get it like, you know, 31 versus 37 or whatever the case is. But to me, $40 for a spear battery, that's not bad because I'm invested in my craft. Look at it that way, okay? I'm investing in what I love to do. So I'm gonna spend the money, okay? But also when I purchased the camera, I realized, girl, ain't no battery charger in this. So I actually went back in the store. I'm like, hey, I didn't see a battery charger in the box. Come to find out that they expect you to charge the battery for this camera inside the camera. To me, that was a big no. First of all, the downtime that I would have to give up, sacrificed to charge this, which takes forever to charge inside of the camera, it's not given that. Like, I'm always vlogging, I'm always talking to y'all, I'm always showing you guys things, I'm always on the go, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. The last thing I have time for is to put my camera down in order to recharge the battery. Like, who has time for that? Who's gonna do that? Not me. So, let me show y'all. If you do decide to charge a battery inside the camera, it has this port here to plug the cord into, but I wasn't doing that. So what I did, I went right over on Amazon, I took my talents over to amazon.com and I found me an external charging system, which I am obsessed with. So this is described as, I think like a portable charger case, but it's basically this case, which slides open and then it houses the battery here to charge it. And it connects with the same cord that you would use to charge your battery inside of the camera. You just plug it up in here, Plug this into a cube, USB port, whatever the case is, and you are good to go and you can charge your battery anyway, okay? I charge this battery in my car. I charge this battery in my portable charger, like my power bank. I charge this in my house. I charge this everywhere. It makes the job super easy. And while I'm charging this, girl, I have three other batteries that I could use in my camera. So I absolutely love that. So as I mentioned, I did purchase two of these individual batteries. And then when I purchased this external charging system, it also came with the battery. So I essentially have three spare batteries, a total of four batteries for my Sony ZV-1 camera. And I feel like four is an appropriate amount because once I have all of them charged, that can last me more than a day on vacation. And if you see my vacation content, you know I'm vlogging everything. I'm recording B-roll, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. So four batteries is an appropriate amount for me. I low key could have done three, but four is not hurting because sometimes I'll be lazy and I'll be charging things. So yeah, that's that on that. Get you an external charging system. Because also I feel like with charging the battery inside the camera, something in my head just tells me that over time is just going to mess up the quality of the camera and I don't have time for that after I spent that much money. Okay, babe? So get you an external charging system and you'll thank me later. The next accessory that I have for my camera is this Ulanzi handheld tripod. I absolutely love this tripod. This is a tripod that I used to use with my Canon M50 and I also still use it with my Sony ZV-1. This tripod right here is super small and lightweight. Just for comparison, this is it next to the Sony tripod. So y'all see she's more petite, she's smaller, she's lighter weight. So whenever I'm just doing basic vlogging, which doesn't require like the controls of this Sony tripod, girl, I'll be bringing this one right out the house. This combination right here, it can fit in my small purses and I absolutely love that. So I had this tripod at first and I'm like, oh, she's cute. It has a rotating ball head. So if you wanna record something portrait, landscape, you have options and it just screws with this thing in the back. But what I didn't know about this tripod, which I learned over time is that it extends, it extends. All this time I'm using this as a midget. Meanwhile, she has more length to her. I thought she was vertically challenged, girl. No, I just wasn't pulling it up. So if you guys have this tripod and you didn't know it extends, it extends. And if you guys are considering getting this tripod, I get it because it extends. So absolutely love this tripod. The extension makes it super convenient depending on like, you know, what I'm recording. But yes, absolutely love this tripod. I have two of these tripods actually. I keep one in the house and I keep one in my car. Cause girl, you never know when you're gonna need a tripod or a little, you know? Yeah, I love this tripod. 
get it you won't regret it and i also have the ulanzi tabletop tripod which is the tripod i showed you guys that i use when i use my sony cb1 to record my short form content this tripod i can't show you guys in real time because it's holding my microphone up right now but it extends up to 60 inches it has a rotating ball head too so it can record in landscape as well as portrait which i absolutely love we love versatility and it gets real tall and it gets even taller when you squinch your legs together a little bit but i love this tripod so much because it helps me capture the perfect shot so whether i want to get like an overhead shot or whether i want to you know just get things up there it gets the job done absolutely love it it comes in different colors too but i just got the black because i feel like it's sleek it matches my camera and it's cute so those are the tripods i have oh and then i also have these i got this case but after a while i kind of realized maybe i didn't really need this case or maybe i didn't need it i don't know but i purchased this from amazon this is like a carrying case so this case basically houses or is built to house the accessories for the sony zv1 camera so i'll show you guys this is what it looks like inside so it has like these sectioned compartments it has this what's in here what i got in here oh <laughs> it has what's in here what more oh i got a memory card in here too okay it has this little bungee section area to like hold things together so these compartments are perfect to store the tripod so the tripod fits right here perfectly and then you can go ahead and put the camera right here oh I have to take the microphone off you can go ahead and put the camera right here and then in this section here i like to like just put my batteries and then in this bungee section as i was telling you guys i do have a spare memory card and then i also have the sleeve that came to store the tripod in so you can go ahead and just put all of your accessories in here i like to use this to travel but after a while i realized that i usually am vlogging while i'm traveling like in the airport on the go so i don't really use this to store my camera i do store my accessories in here when i travel though but it's super cute super small super you know convenient to just throw everything in and make sure you know where things are when you're looking for them i also like to put my charging cables in this too so this is essentially like my little tech bag my little tech case whenever i'm traveling and it just makes things so much easier so those are all of the accessories that i use when it comes to my sony zv1 camera something else that i wanted to mention which i forgot to mention when we were speaking about pros cons and specs of the camera is that this camera also has a filter effect so before i got this camera i was kind of unsure because i'm like girl i don't want no filter on my vlogs like when i vlog i want to give y'all the real i want to give y'all the unfiltered i want to give you guys the raw and with me having a filter on i just felt like i was robbing y'all of a vlogging experience like girl why do you have a filter on while you're in the bed <laughs> like why so what i learned is that you can go ahead and turn the i think it's called like a soft blurring filter face i don't know the name of it but you could turn it off okay so when you guys watch my vlogs y'all see the raw y'all see the uncut y'all see the breakouts y'all see the dark spots y'all see it all because i don't care okay i'm gonna give y'all what it is i ain't covering nothing up literally so yeah you can go ahead and turn it on and turn it off i'll go ahead and insert a clip here so you guys can see the difference with the effect on and off so this is what the footage looks like with no smoothening filter this is regular what you see is what you get period now i'm gonna put the smoothening effect on not there barely being a difference okay skin but this is the smoothening effect on low so i feel like it gives like a little soft blur to the face but i'm not into the business of that okay what y'all see is what y'all get whether i have dark spots whether i have breakouts whatever the case is y'all gonna see it in my vlogs because so i did want to call that out because i know some people are probably curious about that that may be a reason that you're drawn to this camera but for me i was just like i'm not really a fan and that was just my opinion so that is basically my review my thoughts my experience how i use this camera what i use with the camera i really hope you guys found this video helpful especially if you guys are considering purchasing the sony zv1 would i recommend that you guys get this camera yeah i feel like it's super beginner friendly like if you are not into the tech 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 of things 
get this camera okay it's super easy to use super easy to vlog on super vers it's super versatile and as i'm gonna say time and time again easy to use okay beginner friendly because we like things real simple we like things real straight to the point and that is what you're gonna get with this camera so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video comment down below and let me know do you guys currently have this camera do you guys plan on picking it up what are your thoughts on this camera if you do have it comment down below and let me know before you guys head out make sure you guys subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to turn on your bell notifications so you never miss any of my videos especially those vlogs that we kept talking about in this video make sure you have your bell notifications on give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to drop that comment down below and until my next video i'll see you guys later Say what I wanna hear, cause you know it's gonna get me here. Every time I said that I'm